This is called Never Have Y'all Ever, so are you ready? Had sex at Patricia's house. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. The whole cast has yeah, said yes. The whole cast has said yes. Oh, no. Are you the only well, one, Jay? So have y'all had sex with a Don't worry about it. No, more I'm than not. one. The other house worry is about. awesome, and Whitney used to have like parties there after oh, okay. the bar. And then there's those rooms over the kitchen. Yeah. Great yeah. rooms. And we don't I'm, right? the, <laughs> my, I'm the only one that has My them. Yelp review. <laughs> 10 out of 10 on those, yeah. uh, those cast rooms. <laughs> you've, you've actually helped us out a lot. Leah, yeah. that's that question. Yeah. Has hooked up with a Bravo celebrity from a different show. Oh, <laughs> Catherine! Oh, no! Bravo Liberty from a different. Catherine did? I know yeah. who. I know God, who yours is. Oh, there's a couple now. Yeah, couple. it's been a. It's been How a many? Me, uh, Austin. Austin did too. Yeah, we. I think we both have two now. Not the same person. Oh, from. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you know? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's. Just I below, think it's. Below deck is what is his. Is it, is it below deck? I'm not, I can't. Don't say that. I can't. I'll say I'm this show. Say I think it's Summer House, right? Right? Oh, yeah, that's You it. just have to wait and oh, see yeah, the summer. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, we, might, God. we might pop up on your yeah, TVs this summer. Oh, uh, In the Hamptons. Yeah. And uh, right. it's going to be a heck of a, heck of a scene. Okay. Has slid into a fan's DMs. Has slid into a fan's DMs? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, they slid into mine, I slid back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. That is happening. If I follow you or something, I think, like, I can see your DM. But if I don't follow you, you have to click on the other one. There's, there's, a, there's a basket of thousands of DMs that I just would never look at. I, I That's a brag. Well, who was the one you took a screenshot of <laughs> last week and what sent to us? us and it was said. a girl. And I can't believe that people actually do this. Oh, but oh. this girl. DM'd him and said, I'm in Charleston. Don't say it. Are you DTF? Which means. <laughs> and, then, and then what did she say? I can't repeat it. No, you cannot. So nasty. Yeah, and I, I, I can't. screenshot it and send it out. It was I awesome. Can't. You say. Did you meet up with her? You I did it. not meet up with her. No, that's insane. <laughs> Has joined the Mile High Club. No, I no, haven't. I still though. haven't. I oh! Oh! Yes! The lone oh, winner. Oh, these are great questions. God. <laughs> What? That's one. awesome. Private. Private, of course. Okay. Can you see her in like a commercial bathroom? Yeah. It was actually a flight. Flight. Like a flight. I didn't have like Has had a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> Austin ruined mine. There we go. Recently. Oh, Craig. You ruined your own threesome. You ruined that much. I've ruined way Craig more than so I've had. Craig is so in his own head that I don't know if he could ever Please, do that was your fault. The no. hot tub incident. You are so in your own head, and there's no, another shot of you doing it. Who would you marry, shag, or kill? Oh, no. Oh, that's very easy. <laughs> I would shag Craig. <laughs> I would marry Austin. <laughs> and I would only kill Shep because he is not very easily offended. That's right. And so I know we're kill good me. We're good <laughs> friends, and I know I could kill him, and it wouldn't bother him. Cam, well done. Yeah, I would have well done. done. I would have well done. These guys are so sensitive, they yeah. couldn't have handled the death. <laughs> no, that's very true. And I think Austin would make a good husband. I do. Thank you, Cam. Things have been going well. Um, the pillows have seemed to have taken off. We've had a huge... <laughs> Huge support from all of y'all, and uh, it's an exciting thing. I think it's a good message. We just signed a deal yesterday with Thomasville to do a Amazing. line uh, throughout their companies in Macy's, and um, we're in talks with Bed Bath & Beyond right now and just kind of running full speed. My beer company finally launched. It only, it only took me two years, um, and it really is doing exceptionally well, which makes me very, very happy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people come to town, and they want to taste it, and I've gotten some great feedback, and um, let's see, this week uh, I'm doing well with Madison, so that's good. <laughs> uh, maybe next week will change, I'll, I'll let y'all know. Um, but you know, and uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of my update. I'm trying to focus on my business and stay positive. So you are together right now? Oh, you know, Madison has been a person for me for a long, long time, and it's very tough to walk away from something like that. And you know, I, she just, she really is like, a hell of a woman. I mean, you know, she's got it going on. 
So I find yeah. it hard to walk away from. I'm still, I'm like five months off my Adderall still. And, That's great. Uh, I'm like a thousand. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. The question I'm basically the person that that's supposed to make you, but it made me a lot worse person. Right. So I'm a lot better now. You're doing so. good. I would say the person that I have seen like the biggest change in is Craig. Craig is like a new man. He really is. Yeah. I'm a lot better now for it. I kind of like, I like, I'm a normal person. Like I wake up and like go to bed. <laughs> I'm on time to things. Yeah. Good. Who would you say is actually the most fun to party with? Cameron, if she actually decides to drink once in a while. I'm actually a really fun drunk. Yeah. Doesn't last I am. Long. Who's that? But um, I recently found out that I'm alert. I did one of those um, 23andMe, you know, DNA tests or whatever, and I've always been like a major lightweight when it comes to like two two drinks, and I'm they're showing it on the show. Yeah. Um, but I took the test and found out I'm allergic to alcohol. I oh. have, yeah, so that's why. That's so I really cool. shouldn't be drinking anything, period. That's not a thing. So now I, I have like an excuse. Sound of that no, it is a thing. You know? It really is a thing. Look it up. Your, your excuses that, for not partying with us are like getting really, really extreme. I have the gene <laughs> variant. <laughs> Patricia, we did want to get an update, too, on Whitney. How is he doing? He's healing nicely? Uh, Whitney had um, rotator cuff surgery at the Mayo Clinic. And I don't know if you remember Brandy, his assistant. First season. First season. Oh, I remember. But <laughs> they were all out. What? That night. And yeah. Whitney was standing with his back to her, and she jumped on his back like piggyback and made him fall to the uh, street. And she landed on top of the, him and crushed his shoulder. So he had a very complicated surgery. It's very painful. It takes at least six months to recuperate. So he is at home. Really? And Larissa was with him this past week, helping him do whatever she did to help him get through the pain and trauma. Catherine, do you want to start and give us a little update on um, how Kinsey and Saint, both the humans and the company, are doing? Um, so Kinsey and Saint are doing wonderful. Kinsey is going to be starting first grade next year, which is wild to think about after everything. Wow. <laughs> um, and then Kinsey and Saint Furniture is doing great. We have our second launch coming soon, and um, yeah, things are great. Amazing. Yeah. Still got some years I left to have another baby, by the way, Cameron. No. Come on. Y'all will not ever see me pregnant on television ever again. <laughs> oh, she left it open, so off television. No, I'm, I'm done. Heard it here. Me Shops either. Shops closed. <laughs> I was telling Catherine um, backstage, I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't know how you do it with two. Like, I bow down to you. I mean, oh, thanks. Yeah, no, it's crazy, but it's fun. It's the hardest and the most wonderful thing, I think, at the same time, yeah. being a mom. Um, any milestones from her lately? She is a little spitfire. Mm -hmm. She is very independent. I think if I think maybe if she had been a very calm, you know, easy child, yeah. maybe I would consider. But I mean, she's she's a lot, a yeah. lot to handle, which is good. It's good to be a strong girl. My great grandfather was assassinated by Al Capone and like his oh. his like Whoa. distillery or whatever was in Monk's Corner and he was a senator at the time and they yeah they assassinated him because it was during prohibition wow, wow. that's Better. a great you it's not like exciting but it's really crazy that that happened in little old Monk's Corner wow. <laughs> that is interesting huh? so we ran our lineages and we actually run in like our families <laughs> oh really oh we're related my great great aunt <laughs> Um, Mildred. No, Mary Chestnut. If you, if you watch the PBS um, mm. Civil War documentary, they quote her. She, she kept a journal as during the war, and it's fascinating. So that's my little nugget. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, y'all, it's Austin. Subscribe here if you like the video, and click here for more content.